Hi, I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your insane shredded abs and booty lift where we're gonna use the most effective moves to get into those core muscles and to lift and tone your booty. Remember, this is a part of the Bar Booty Lift series where you can join us absolutely free with the link down below in the description, and you can join our amazing community who are crushing it, by the way. So make sure that you tag me in your sweaty selfies for a chance to be featured right here because these ladies are getting transformative results with my workouts. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and let's get to the workout. Let's start with a nice warm up because this is gonna be a good workout. So let's get our body working and let's pull those knees up towards our chest. I'm going to uh, put my socks on in a little bit. Right now I'm just barefoot so that we can warm up. And then I'm gonna put my socks on to slip and slide all over the place. I love using the socks. It's one of my most favorite things to do because it's so challenging and it works your body in a completely different way. Okay, good. So we're gonna take a nice big squat and up, squat and up, good. Getting into those legs, arms, squeeze back. I want you to really think about those back muscles right here. Turn on that posture, abs are pulled in, squeeze and make that connection with your body. Squeeze the elbows in. Just put aside everything from your day. Right now you just get to focus on you and you. So just focus inward. This is gonna be an amazing workout together. I know you're gonna feel so accomplished and proud by the end. Just the best feeling ever, right? Okay, we're gonna do a nice big squat to a knee drive. Squat, knee up. Getting that core pulling in. So this is shredded abs and lifted booty. You know that just with that name, you're in for a real treat. Okay, up, down, and up. Keep going. Think about that core, pulling the abs in. All right, we're gonna take a nice big plie now. Turn those toes out nice and wide. Plie. Start to squeeze the glutes underneath you. Turn, externally rotate those thighs. Little pulses right here. I want you to also think about rooting your toes into the floor. So like tree roots, they're rooting down into the floor. Because this might be in a new position for you with this turned out position. So use those muscles, ground yourself. Good, take those hands over to our head right here. And we're gonna take a nice little side bend and up, down, and up. Using your obliques here, all these little side muscles. You're doing awesome. Good, side and up, side and up. Squeeze that core, lengthen through the spine. Good. really make sure that you feel the core working. Stabilize throughout the entire thigh and hip and glutes. And up and side and up. Good, just a few more. We're still in our warm up here, getting into our bodies. Nice, all right, turn those toes back forward again. We're gonna do a nice big squat. And then we're just gonna take a nice side bend over. So again, going into our core, engaging that. Down and up, down. Nice big movement. Good, feel the whole body warming up. Good heat flow through the toes, all the way through the fingers. Every little cell in your body getting warm. Nice, and over, keep going. And two, and one, and reach. Nice, okay. I'm gonna put my socks on, and I'm also going to move my mat out of the way, because we are going to be slipping and sliding on the wood floor, or maybe you have sliders at home. If you don't have wood, 
I just tell people to go like in your hallway, in your kitchen, somewhere that you have some, just some slippery surface, or some people have even said that they've used um, paper plates on the carpet, so that works too, okay? So, I'm gonna keep time for us. We're gonna do a few moves here for our plank series to really get into the core, shred up those abs. I know you guys are excited. So, we're gonna start here in a plank pose, and we're gonna pull the knees in towards the chest, and then extend long, just like that, okay? That's our first move. We're gonna be doing it for 45 seconds, 15 seconds break. So I'll keep time for you. Let's go. So this is really about you versus you. How many can you do while keeping good form? Form, of course, is everything. So make sure that those hands are spread out wide on the floor, pressing into every single little finger pad and knuckle, okay? So not cupping the hands, but rather pressing through every knuckle. Good, biceps forward, triceps back, extending long through the spine. <sighs> Moving slow with control. Just nine more seconds, not too bad. All right, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, a little break, we're gonna come on to our forearms. We're gonna go out and then tap the knees, out, tap the knees. You can take a break here like this whenever you need to, all right? In three, two, one, let's go. And out and tap, out and tap. This is meant to challenge you, all right? So if it's difficult, then you know you're doing it right. You're in the right place. Whew. I'm gonna definitely take breaks too because it's hard. <laughs> out and tap, good. And with the socks, it adds that real extra challenge there because you really have nothing to grip onto. So your core has to work on overtime. Make sure that you are tucking the pelvis under. I'd rather you take more breaks than compromise on your form. So just remember that. All right, little breather. That was a hard one. We're gonna do mountain climbers here. If anyone's ever done my 100 rep ab challenge, you're probably getting flashbacks to that one. A lot of these moves are from that. Okay. So, I'll definitely link that down below because if you haven't done it, highly recommend it. Oh my gosh, your abs will be popping after you do that one. Good, so mountain climbers here. Run it out, run it out, run it out. Good. Abs are pulled in. Feel those arms. Strong, like stone pillars. Imagine your strongest body right now. Woo. Take a break if you need it. And then recommit, 15 seconds left. Up, up, up. Feel the knees driving up in towards the chest. Just four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna do some side planks here. So we're just going to, just little lift, lower, lift, lower, okay? I'm not gonna do more than I have to. So just lift it lower. Here we go. So lift and lift. If that's too much, then just put the knees down and practice pulling the hips up, all right? So it is pretty challenging. You can also put the hand down to kind of assist you in this. Woo! Those shoulders, lats, obliques, everything's working here. Lift, lift, lift. Feel that core working. I told you it was gonna be an ab shredder. You pressed play, so you got what you wanted, right? Three, two, one. All right, other side. Whew. So I'm gonna have to face away from you for a little bit, but just know that to take those breaks when you need it, and you've got this. This is always gonna be something that's a little bit challenging, right? Otherwise, if you're not challenged, then you're not growing. So it's okay to feel the burn and breathe.
take a break when you need it. Let's finish it out, last 10 seconds right here. And rest, good job. We're gonna do pike to lower down. This is gonna be our last one right here, pike and then slowly lower down. One of my most favorite moves here because it really helps you to move slow and gets the deepest, deepest part of your core. Also really strengthens your arms. This was the move that really helped me to do handstands because it really pulls everything together. Helps you understand how to lift your legs with your abs. Good, up and lower, keep it going. Nice and slow. All right. Okay, that's enough abs for right now. We're gonna stand up. And I'm gonna grab my bar and we're gonna work on some legs. You can actually move your mat completely out of the way as well. Now that you're back on your bar, position it so that it's to the side of you and your hand's gonna be slightly up. So you notice I'm using a chair so you can use anything you have at home that's just nice and sturdy. So we're gonna start in a first position, a ballet first position. Squeeze the booty up at the top. Inner thighs are always zipping together. Our core is nice and engaged from all that good core work. So keep that going. And we're gonna do a few different exercises. Same thing with the timer on and timer off, okay? So we're gonna slide to the side. We're gonna cross in front, slide to the side, cross it in back, okay? So you're just gonna squeeze it in back. So you're just gonna go into a nice little extension here, tendu, side and front, just showing you from the front. Okay, so that is our set. Here we go, 45 seconds on and 15 seconds break. I like to do timed because it just allows you to take it at your own pace and really feel the movements. Just see how many you can do, but really it's about quality and your movement. So this is just gonna be nice, steady, lowering and lifting, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Good, reach, squeeze that booty underneath you. Keep the elbow lifted. Usually that's the biggest thing I see is the elbow drops. Nice, so we're gonna turn towards the bar, stay on the right leg and we're gonna go parallel, little three counts down, and then quick all the way up. So feet are parallel, and then we're gonna do the lunge back up. Here we go. And one, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Nice, so again, parallel is just with the feet together. You could really do side or front, actually. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Good, if you wanna add an arm there, you can, to just add a little bit of that extra posture muscles working. One, two, three, and up. Feel that standing leg working a lot. All right, now we're gonna take a, come back to the first position, take a curtsy lunge behind, a little curtsy lunge. Sweep it around to the front, back to curtsy lunge, sweep it around to the front. Okay, so squeeze those inner thighs at the top. Here we go. Curtsy and up. Curtsy and up. Beautiful. Nice regal position here, standing confident, standing proud. Keep that chest up, keep going. If you like, you can move the hand in, out, in, and out. 
All right, so now we're gonna come back into our first position. We're gonna do something that's called a degage. So you're gonna point the toe. Notice how everything is engaged and we're just gonna squeeze everything back in and they're just little squeezes in just like that. All right, so you can keep the hand here or if you wanna add a ballet arm, you can join me here like this. Make sure that the hips aren't swiveling like this, like a hula dancer. They're staying nice and still. Okay, I would say, imagine your tutu is on, right? So you don't want it going up and down, up and down. It stays nice and still. Reverse the arm, squeeze those inner thighs together. Squeeze your glutes. All right, we're gonna come into a second position and we're gonna squeeze it in. So you can kind of just slide your way out, slide your way in. The more contact you have with the floor, actually, the better, right? It's gonna really help you to root, which I see is really the biggest issue with people. A lot of people are, don't know how to really ground into the floor. So make sure that you're really pressing your feet, your toes into the floor, squeeze everything in, good. Reach and in. Reach and in. Nice job. Really squeeze on the way up. Stay tall with your posture. Nice soft landing everywhere you go and rest. Next up, we're gonna do the same thing, but this time we're gonna squeeze all the way up into a releve, cross the toes together in a position called susu. All right, all the way up onto your toes, the ball of your toe, okay? It's really fun. You're gonna definitely feel like a ballerina now. You can even take the hand up overhead. Nice big plie. Let's alternate the cross. So the foot goes behind, foot goes in front. Down and cross front, down and cross back, good. So make sure you're not sticking your booty out to make room for it, right? Everything stays in one line. Again, imagine that tutu one. You don't wanna flip it all the way up like that. You wanna keep it nice and level the whole way, good. All right. Take a little breather. I'm gonna move my bar to the other side and do our other leg. All right, now we're on the other side. Place the hand on the bar. Start in your first position and we're going to slide to the side, cross front, tendu, slide to the side, cross back, tendu. Okay, keep the elbow lifted. Here we go. Side and up, side and back. Good, side and up, side and up. So your job is to keep the head, shoulders, hips, and heels all in one line, meaning it, nothing is kind of waving in between, right? And squeeze the inner thighs as they come together. Good. All right, now turn those feet parallel to each other so they're in road like tracks, railroad tracks. And we're gonna lower down three times, two, three, and up. So three counts down, slide and squeeze everything together on the way up. Let's go, one, two, three.
Okay, now we're gonna come into a first position. So right here, you're just gonna open up those toes, squeeze the inner thighs together, squeeze the glutes together. We're gonna do a curtsy here, and then we're gonna sweep it all the way around here just like that, and then curtsy back, and let's go. Keep balancing that crown of the top of your head, gliding through the motions, really grounding down that toe to the floor. Feeling as light as a feather. All right, we're gonna do our degages now. So squeezing everything together, little quick ins, and we're gonna float the arm all the way through your port de bra okay? Here we go, and let's begin. So the trick here is to not lean, right? And to not be too any which way. You have to be right here in the middle. You can even test yourself. Take your hands off, see if you can do it. It's a really good test as to where your balance is. And you're gonna feel that standing glute working a lot. Squeeze, because it's stabilizing this whole side of the body. Okay, we've got our second position slides. It's a nice big second position. Just squeeze it in like that. Keep the feet flat on the ground. I want you to practice spreading your toes out, which might feel foreign because you're probably using shoes all the time. So nice big grand plie. Squeeze it all the way together, especially that booty here. Out and squeeze. up if you'd like as well. You can really make it your own, whatever feels good. Just make it nice and floaty and airy. All right, same thing in the second position. And remember, all the way to our releve, little su-su position. Make sure that the booty comes with you. It doesn't stay back there, okay? Here we go, nice big second and squeeze second and up. We're going to feel those calves working as well to lift you up. Remember to balance on your big toes. Okay, so don't let all the weight go back to your pinky toes. Push it forward a little bit into your big toes. Okay, we're gonna do one bonus one here. So you can face the bar like this and we're just gonna lift, lower, lift, lower for 45 seconds. Squeeze those glutes underneath you. Everything squeezes in. Make sure that the butt doesn't start to kind of push out like that. Okay, lift and lift. So you can see if you can come off of the bar at all. Balance here. See if you can do that. Maybe you can even float the arms and up, up. Your body's probably gonna wanna tip. That's okay. You can notice the body's trying to find the center. So just be patient. Your body's really smart. It will find the center. Keep the weight in the big toes. You're doing awesome.
All right. That's enough of our standing exercises. We're gonna go back to the mat and do a few finishers for our legs and booty. So let's switch it up. I'll see you there. So come onto the mat. We are going to work in our bridge pose. So let me show you what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna do three exercises timed. The first one is gonna be on your heels. Make sure you squeeze those shoulder blades underneath you. Close up your core and your ribs. And we're gonna take those legs all the way out, I know, and squeeze them back in. You're gonna feel those hamstrings work like crazy. Then we're gonna do single leg bridge on the left and then the right. Okay, pretty simple, this is it. This is your finisher for class. Give it all you got. I know you're probably sweating like I am. Just remember you're doing amazing and you've got this. Here we go, come up to the bridge, extend and squeeze. Try to squeeze those shoulder blades underneath you even a little bit more. Good, so palms down is gonna give you some support. I like it there to just give that extra support. If you want a little extra challenge, you can bring your hands here, which is definitely way more challenging. I'm gonna keep it here, hands on the floor. Good, reach and in. Give that little extra squeeze up at the top. All right, take a little breather here. Make sure that you are tucking your pelvis under so it doesn't get too much in the low back. And we're gonna do our single leg bridges. So we're just gonna lift one leg up, little pulses up to the top. All right, here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Let's go. Up and up. Press through that left heel. Press through the shoulder blades as well to lift the chest up. Tuck the pelvis under. Really feel strong in that left leg. Ooh, or whichever leg you're doing, it doesn't matter. We're gonna switch. Feel those hamstrings, right where the hamstring and glute meets. That's what we're working, right there for that ultra lift. All right, take a little breather. Let's move on to the other side. Just a few seconds. This is your last and final move. So give it all you got. Whew. Your rest is just around the corner. Let's finish it out. Let's go. See if you can tuck that pelvis a little bit more, a little tuck right there, and squeeze the shoulder blades together a little bit more. There you go. Get into that hamstring and glute. goodness that was amazing and you did it amazing job you did it big high five for you make sure that you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel so i can keep creating videos like this for you and if you're ready to transform your body in just four weeks then download my app starting risk-free for seven days the link is down below and i'll see you in the next workout bye